Hello everyone, today I am here to teach you about how to make population pyramid. So let's start. Uh, this is the chart we are going to take to make population pyramid and this is made by me. So our final population pyramid will look like this. Okay, we are going to create the population pyramid from this data and we are going our population pyramid will look like this. So let's start. Okay, first uh, let me clear you one concept like uh, this this male and female are in positive axis as all numbers are positive but we have to create population pyramid in negative side also not only positive side negative side also so for that we have to create one uh, column that is in negative so let's do that first okay I'm selecting it okay control C and I'm pasting over here with control V and this is male okay here we have to make all column into negative so let's do that okay equals to minus of b2 okay now we have to move this property to all members okay we can see here that all the members of male are negative now let's create a bar first step is to create a bar sorry okay let's create a bar we have to go to insert then we have to click on bar and there we have 2d 3d we have to click on 2d bar okay we have got the population pyramid initial phase okay you can see here that uh, it is similar to our final figure so uh, I think now we have to change the we have to reduce one category so to do that right click on this and format plot axis okay first let's remove one okay then select right click on mouse then select data okay we have here male two males as this male and this male we have two males and one female okay now let's remove one male from here this that is this one okay to do that click on male and remove okay our population pyramid will look like this okay now let's choose the color uh, I'm going to choose these two colors so you can choose your own to do that I'm going to click on this and select on format data series then here click on fill then solid fill okay I th we are going to make this blue color okay this is in blue color and for this one let's fill this with solid fill and we we have to choose color and we have chosen okay red color now let's uh, first reduce the gap between this between red uh, plots okay to do that we have to increase the overlap okay we have increased the overlap between this red and this blue we have increased the space and we have to decrease the gap this between these two okay to do that reduce the gap to almost yeah this looks very nice okay our initial phase is completed uh, you can see here that uh, our two figures are looking similar now we have to uh, reverse the order of this to do that click on this series and now right click then format axis and in format axis we have to click on categorize in reverse order okay now the reverse order has been created now let's move this uh, which is in middle in inside okay we can do that by axis level and we have to choose low okay we can see here that now our figures are looking more similar now another thing we have to do is click on this and format axis okay you can see here that we have to move this series from here to here so to do that we can click on axis level and we can click on high okay sorry high okay now our graph are looking very much similar okay now we have to change this number negative into positive 
to do that we have to click on number and here are general number currency now we have to create a costume okay custom and here is negative now we have to do uh, what we have to do is remove the negative sign and we have to add that and it appears here in type then select this okay we have here uh, 30 20 10 0 okay uh, let's close this now if you want to uh, move this level from here to any sides then you can do it by format ledge and you can uh, choose any uh, top bottom or anywhere but I think it suits on right okay let's do this close now if you look at the final graph I think the both graphs are looking very much similar okay our population pyramid is finally made okay this much for today thank you so much for listening and if you want more tutorial then you can mention in comment okay thank you so much please support me thank you for watching